I can't believe more people aren't talking about the major honey scam. But here we are. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. I recently came across a video by Megalag and it's a pretty surprising video, but not in the way that you might think. You see, Megalag has completed a long investigation into Honey. You know Honey because you've seen it promoted by your favorite YouTubers. I'm sure of it. Go to every computer in your house and install Honey. So what's the catch? There is no catch. Give Honey five seconds and boom! It found a coupon code for $221. Install Honey. It's free. <laughs> Now, at the recommendation of my favorite YouTuber, I decided I'm gonna install the Honey extension on my internet browser. Over the next while, I used the product to see if there was any savings to be had. Now, to my surprise, in my personal experience, using the Honey extension did not yield any benefits as far as there was never any coupons. There never seemed to be anything worth anything that was actually going to save me any money. So I just kind of forgot about it until recently when I came across this video. And now as a content creator myself, I'm really aware of kind of the ways that creators can actually monetize and generate some income using services such as YouTube and that sort of thing. Now, a lot of people look at their favorite YouTuber and they say, man, this guy's just rolling in the dough and they're making so much money. They can afford to, you know, leave a little bit here and there because it doesn't matter. It's all just these big bucks. But that's not really the case. You see, as one of the top 1% of YouTubers on the platform, yes, this tiny little channel is in the top 1% of YouTubers when it comes to subscribers and views. You can fact check me if you like and tell me if I'm wrong because as far as I can tell, those are the numbers I come up with. I can tell you guys one thing and that is I am not rich. This is not a full-time job for me. I actually have a full-time job and that's because YouTube does not pay as much as you would expect. So it's no surprise when YouTubers lean to product endorsements and lean to affiliate links and stuff like that to help generate some extra income. And as a YouTuber who does make some money, when you click those links in, the, in my video where I say, you know, check this out, check that out, there's a small percentage that comes back to us for sharing our experience with you guys. And that's just a reality of the influencer creator world. That's what it is. And I know you guys who are sitting at home watching this video, you probably don't care. You're saying big deal, boohoo, whatever, right? And I get it and I'm with you. But when I started to watch this video in more detail, I started to find out the problem of the Honey extension. I really just want to break it down to you guys so you can understand what's going on and then you can make an informed decision if there's anything that needs to be done on your end. In a nutshell, when you watch your favorite YouTuber and then you're compelled for whatever reason to click the affiliate links that are found in the description, there's a little tracker attached with that link that just tracks back the referral to whoever referred you. So for example, you say, hey, you know what? I really like the Galaxy S24. I wanna buy one of those. And you click the link down below. They say, Gears and Tech recommended the S24 to this individual and they give you a very, very, very small commission for the trouble of finding someone to recommend that product to. It's kind of how the entire business model is built. But then you get these coupon trackers such as Honey. And the interesting thing is before you check out, Honey will have a little pop-up if it's active that says, here's some potential coupon codes that will save you some money on this purchase. And who doesn't like to save money? So if a code is applied, you click apply the code but what happens is the tracker gets swapped out. So no longer is it a Gears and Tech tracker, it's now a PayPal slash Honey tracker. And they get the entire commission from that sale. So why wouldn't they want to try to save you some money at the last minute and you know benefit to you guys? But that's not all. If there is no savings, they have a little button that says, hey, Actually, there is no coupon codes available. We're sorry. When you click the OK button, it also wipes out that tracker. 
So no longer is your favorite YouTuber getting any credit for that sale. Honey is taking all of the credit and they get all of that commission. Now, as a single sale, it's no big deal. It's only a couple bucks. But at scale, when you're talking about millions of transactions a day taking place, if Honey can scoop a dollar off of each of those transactions and they take them away from your favorite influencer, they take them away from your favorite content creator, all of a sudden you're talking about millions of dollars that should have been paid out here that are now getting scooped up by Honey. Now you can start to understand the core of the problem here. And for me, somebody who is actively aware of the work and effort that it takes to go through the process of creating content, editing that content, making it something that you want to watch, and then uploading it to YouTube, taking all of that time and effort, and to not get compensated for it, that is a true crime. And that's why today I'm going to take some action. I have the extension disabled. But if you look up over here, you can see Honey still shows up as an extension. I've logged out, so it's no longer logged in. And in fact, it's ghosting out so that you can't see all of my credentials on here. But if you have the Honey app installed, then you might see it here. If not, you can click on the little extensions puzzle piece, and then it'll show you all of your extensions. Here it says PayPal Honey, and I have it pinned. You might not. But I'm going to click on more options and then I'm going to say remove from Chrome and I'm actually going to re check report abuse. Not because I think it does anything, but I feel kind of abused. Now it's going to pop up a pop over from the removal one saying add this back to Chrome. It's, it doesn't want you to go. This is a lot of money that they're missing out on. So I'm going to just close that one. But this one I'm going to say that I am other, please explain. And I'm going to say, I want my favorite content creators to get credit for affiliate sales, not honey. And I'm going to hit submit because I want them to know I'm, I'm actually pretty upset about this. When I found out about this and then the expansion of the, what this covers, I promise you all of your favorite YouTubers at some point or even currently are still actively promoting Honey and they're having money taken out of their own pockets as a result. And I'll bet you none of them knew. Now, why do you care and why do I care? I've already said the work that goes into um, making this content. I want to make sure that the right person is credited with the, the, the commission. Think of it as when you go to the store, you're looking for a brand new pair of shoes and they spend a lot of time going through the different shoes with you, trying different sizes on, helping educate you on what the shoes, you know, what makes these shoes special versus these shoes. At the end of the day, you don't pay anything extra for the shoes, but the sales guy wants to make sure that he gets credit for the sale because, you know, a lot of them are commission based. Is it a big deal to you to have their name when you go to the till and say, John helped me with the sale today? Because they'll ask you, they'll say, was there any salesperson that helped you today? And you're going to say, oh yeah, John, he was super helpful. Thank you so much. And they'll say, yeah, no problem. John helped with the sale. And then he gets that commission for helping make that sale. Again, no extra cost to you. There's no disadvantage to you to have John help you, but John does get compensated for the extra effort that he put in to facilitate that sale for you. And this is the exact same thing. And this is why I feel compelled to make sure that if I am buying something online at the recommendation of somebody, a creator, a blogger, a vlogger, whatever, I want to make sure that they get credit for that. And that's why I've removed Honey. Now, if you want to see the full details about how this was discovered, how it's proved that this is what's happening and all of that, I will put a link to, to Megalag's video because it's it's way more in depth than what I've done. I have not done any of the heavy lifting here, so I don't want to take credit for it. But what I do want to do is make sure that as many people as possible can be made aware of this so that you can make the choice for you. Maybe you like honey. 
maybe it's working well for you and you've saved a lot of money in the process and you want to keep it and that's fine that's okay if you want to i just want to make sure that you're informed of what that actually means on the back end and how you might actually be taking money away from your favorite creator in that process Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.